Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of September 9th through the 15th. We're going to be starting with the earth signs. <laughs> earth signs, we have 10 of bats or the 10 of swords. We have the hand of fate, forces beyond your control, intervene. And self-worth. Woo! Earth signs. That's a doozy for you guys. Um, so earth signs, there's going to be quite a bit of exhaustion this week for you guys. You may be even starting off your week feeling a little bit exhausted or just depleted or just like you have no control and everything is just out there to get you or at least you may feel like it is. Um, there's a need for self-worth here. The self-worth card is coming up. A need for you guys to remind yourselves of why you are doing what it is that you are doing. I feel like a lot of you guys have to remind yourself that. Um, I also feel like when you feel like, um, everyone out there is, is out there to get you or people are just out there to, to screw it up for you. Understand that sometimes the universe plants people like that in our lives for a reason. Okay. Um, and sometimes they have to intervene for a reason. So I know sometimes it's not easy to 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 see a positive in something that could have been this mind-blowing experience and then something happened to mess it all up. But you have to kind of look at it as the glass half half full kind of a perspective. Like it could have been worse. Okay? So I feel like that's like a, a theme here for you, my earthy signs. So this week might be a little bit difficult this week might you might feel a little bit disconnected you might be feeling super exhausted you just need a break trust yourself and trust your body and listen to yourself um if you need that break there's nothing wrong with giving that to yourself and then also paying attention to your self-worth okay are you being nice to yourself are you is your mind going in negative in negative circles are you being mean to yourself that kind of thing like I feel like my earthy signs, you need to be a little bit more kinder. This is your season, earth signs. This is your Virgo season. And, you know, you guys are so hard on yourselves sometimes. You, you are your worst critic. Um, but for some reason, I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are going to be feeling quite, quite depleted, quite stressed this week. Um, but understand that certain things are happening for a reason. So if you're, fi if you're finding that is taking place this week for you guys, it's it. It's happening for a reason, okay? My um, air signs, we have Knight of Pumpkins or the Knight of Pentacles, Dragon, Strength and Wisdom, and we have Rigid. So some of my air signs, you may be walking a fine line this week, okay? You may be walking that fine line, taking some risks, taking some chances here. But the Knight of Pentacles, is really telling you guys to be patient, to be very patient in this process, okay? It's really care, you gotta be really careful as you're walking that fine line. Things might be rigid, your connections with people might be rigid this week. Your, your attention span might be rigid this week. Your patience might be rigid this week. Um, so you gotta, you gotta practice patience. Don't be impulsive, okay? I know it's, it's, it could be hard for us to be, uh, you know, to not be impulsive, but I'm asking you, the cards are asking you to, to slow down, <laughs> slow down, be a little bit patient in this process. And then the dragon card, strength and wisdom. Strength and wisdom will come to those who wait. Strength and wisdom will come to those who are patient in the process, okay? So you're gonna be seeing answers. You're gonna be seeing some stuff validated for you. You're gonna feel, you know, a little bit more put together, a little bit like more at ease, but you guys have to be calm. You guys gotta be calm. Um, so you find yourselves walking on a fine line and your, your attention span is just not with it or you're feeling like you just wanna wring people's necks this week. Try to have that Knight of Pentacle approach. Be a little bit more calm and try not to make any major decisions this week, at least not the beginning of it. Um, fire signs, we have the Empress, the Satyr, Satyr, Satyr? revelry and indulgence and choices 
<laughs> so I feel like fire signs, you guys are going to be facing some in, some some choices. Is this a, a need or is it a want kind of a thing? I feel like my fire signs, you're going to be facing that where it's like, are you? do you want to splurge on that? Do you really want to eat that? Do you really want to say that? Do you really want to post that? Is it a need or a want? I feel like that's what you guys got to ask yourself. Like when I saw the choices card, that's the first thing that I thought of. So my fire signs, like... I feel like you got you just have to um, allow yourself to to take a pause. Same thing with my air signs. Take a pause and really reconsider. Is it really necessary for you to say that or to post it or to um, to eat it or whatever it is? Like everyone's going through something different. Empress though, Empress is all about self love. So this is to me is like and instead of focusing on everybody else, maybe focusing more on inner love pampering yourself right if you need it okay if you need it um there is you know sometimes if we want things it's nice to indulge but sometimes we don't like sometimes we just don't need to do that so um the empress i feel like is she's just kind of saying you know some of you guys will do the self-love kind of thing pampering yourself and all of that but there is a fine line of overdoing it and and I also feel like some of my fire signs need to be reminded of, do you really want to post that thing? Do you really want to say that? Do you really want to bring up that topic in the conversation between you and your lover? Or <laughs> It's just, it's, is it a need or a want, fire signs? And then my water signs. We have 10 of imps or 10 of wands. The, the seer, follow your intuition. And then we have playful. So my water signs, I feel like for us, we're being guided to, I feel like the this this 10 of imps, I feel like he's taking on the load for everybody else. We It's going to be another week like that where we're going to feel like we're taking on the load, but the playful card is also telling us to give ourselves some time to free up our schedule, to allow ourselves to have a break, you know? So if, if we can't handle everyone else's business, at least we get ours done, right? So if you're, if this is you in the workplace and you're trying to get all the shit done, focus on your duties before you take on someone else's. And if you can't get to everybody else's, at least you know your stuff is done. Um, but also water signs understand you can't carry the weight of the world, okay? There's, you can only do so much. Um, the seer card, following your intuition, making your choices this week. You should do it every week, but making your choices and your decisions this week based on your intuition. Don't listen to the ego. The ego is like what brings all of the negative thoughts. Focus on your intuition. How do you feel about the situation? Um, how do you feel about, you know, whatever, whatever might be popping up this week. Um, but I feel like the main message here is sometimes we got to just have a little bit of fun, joke and laugh, allow yourself not to take things too seriously, water signs. And then also sometimes you can't, you can't take on the weight of the world. You can't take on everybody's problems. And sometimes we can't be there for everybody. And that's okay. Okay. All right, you guys have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you guys later. Bye loves.